Let's look at some of the new chord and vary audio functionality introduced in Cubase Pro 12. When the chord track was introduced, it was pretty revolutionary because we could, for the first time, see our chords on the project window. And we have the option to have this tied directly into many of the editing tasks. If we didn't want to manually enter into chords or didn't know what the chords were in a particular project, if we had an appropriate MIDI part, we could select the event, such as like a piano, go to our chord track and create chord events. But if there is no MIDI, you're kind of out of luck. So if we wanted to have a project that was primarily yeah, was instrument based from audio recordings like this, and I wanted to determine the chords from the audio file of the guitar, what we can do in Cubase 12 is drag multiple audio files, whether or a single audio file, even if it's an entire mix, and we could drag it to an empty chord track. Once this has been done, Cubase will do its analysis, figure out the chords and key for us. Chords that have been detected will have this little indication in the upper right hand corner. Now, since it's detecting it from audio, there could be different voices for chord voicings and harmonics. So we could double click, go to the chord assistant. And if we think it's possibly another chord, we can see different alternative options or suggestions from the chord assistant itself. Now, this also ties deeply into very audio. So with our chord track, if we go and set our color scheme to scales and chords, we can come and actually see what notes are following in the particular uh, chord, what notes are in the scale, and when we see red notes, these are out of out of this out of key and out of scale. Now, the scale assistant that was first introduced into the MIDI key editor in version 11 has now been implemented into the very audio editor. And this allows us to have simplified editing. So one is we could come over here and manually define a scale for the events within the very audio. And once a scale has been defined manually or using the chord track, we have different functions. So one of them would be to show scale note guides. So we see that we have the colors kind of lighter here and it's a little subtle but we have kind of darker shades for the darker notes on the piano keyboard, lighter shades for the white keys on a piano keyboard. As we look at this, we could en enable show the scale note guides. We can now, as we move notes, any note that's gonna be a white, a, a slightly lighter shade will be directly in the appropriate scale of the song. So we can see visually what notes will be in key. Now, if we didn't want to have any concerns about that, we could also enable snap pitch editing. So once this is turned on, I can't move this to a note that's out of key. It's going to restrict my movement from placing this note out of key. Now, let's say I just wanted the one action to easily tune all my vocals. I'm going to select all of the segments and then we have what we call quantize pitches. So we think of quantizing as often correcting MIDI rhythmic timing issues. But what we could do now is as soon as I do this, we can quantize the pitches and now all of the tuning will automatically work and quantize to the nearest pitch within our defined scale. So as you can see, the deep integration of the new chord and very audio functions and the ability to detect chords from audio files can really speed up your workflow.